New developments tonight. We've confirmed that federal agents have been building a case against a local rapper for weeks, maybe months. We were there, the first to tell you the immigration and customs agents arrested 21 Savage with an alert today on our WSB TV news app. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie first uh, broke this story, and Mark Ice says the rapper is actually from the UK and now could be deported. And as you said, I am told the arrest of 21 Savage was the result of weeks or even months of investigation. YouTube shows hip hop artist 21 Savage's videos get views in the tens of millions. But Pam Peinado Stewart says, in her view, as an immigration attorney, the performer, heavily identified with Atlanta, could have a serious problem based on preliminary information. This could be a huge problem uh, for 21 Savage. A statement from ICE spokesman Brian D. Cox says, quote, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, arrested unlawfully present United Kingdom national Shahya bin Abraham Joseph, a.k.a. 21 Savage, during a targeted operation with federal and local law enforcement partners early Sunday in Metro Atlanta. In famous, is it going to help him here? It's not, um, unfortunately. We're told the 21 Savage arrest was not a Super Bowl related ICE operation and that he was allegedly in a car with another hip hop artist and two other men who were arrested by local police on separate charges after the discovery of a gun and drugs. The ICE statement says, quote, Mr. Abraham Joseph initially entered the U.S. legally in July 2005, but subsequently failed to depart under the terms of his non immigrant visa, and he became unlawfully present in the U.S. when his visa expired in July 2006. In addition to being in violation of federal immigration law, Mr. Abraham Joseph was convicted on felony drug charges in October 2014 in Fulton County, Georgia. Lawyer Jacoby Hudson told me he's been working to get 21 Savage's 2014 first offender drug case sealed and suggested he'd be surprised if the performer was from the UK that he went to middle and high school in Metro Atlanta. But Pam Penado Stewart says even though a first offender case usually doesn't count as a conviction under Georgia law, it generally does under federal immigration law. This can have a huge impact in his case. And Attorney Hudson suggested Savage is not a convicted felon, but you just heard Ms. Stewart say that could still be a problem for him. A statement under the name of another attorney, Dina LaPolte, said in part, we are working diligently to get Mr. Abraham Joseph out of detention while we work with the authorities to clear up any misunderstandings. Mr. Abraham Joseph is a role model. To young people, it says. Reporting live, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.